this story broke out on the internet and it made me giggle because I know a thousand people like that. I feel like mm. we're all surrounded uh, by people like this. Yeah. Uh, somebody tweeted and said, this really nice guy told me he uh, was with his ex for four years yes. before they broke up seven months ago. He liked me and he was ready to be in another relationship. And I think it was mutual, but she was like, eh, you just got out of a relationship. Seven months isn't long enough to grieve a four-year relationship. Hmm. So she said, why don't we give ourselves some time? You stay single for a year. And then if you're still vibing me, yeah. let's give it a try. Uh-huh. And she said she looked him up a year later and he was married to his ex. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what kind of shaitani is possessing you where you leave a relationship, but there's no way you can stay single. So you just go back to the, the you know, toxic place that you were at before. It's, it's, it's weird because I think it's a discussion that we have, have had with so many guys whereby there's this thing in our mind. I don't know if it's in our DNA or something where we want to still stay relative or relevant to some extent. Mm. So we leave a relationship. Okay. And we go back to the streets and the streets are really rough. Yeah. All right. And there's always that idea that, you know, there's all always that one chick that is just close to you when you break up with someone you can really bounce on her so for this guy's sake i think that chick was supposed to be bounced on was not there then he was like you know what seven months i can get into another relationship yeah that smells like mommy issues to me (laughs) if you always need a woman to crawl back to you gotta see a therapist and that's what that's what he did because after she said you know what let's take some time he's thinking wait the yes, streets are hard. Yeah. I mean, he went back to the streets and then he was really shown how the streets are. He's, a, he, mm-hmm. he's a domesticated cat now. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh sound level four six one hundred. Jackson Wang, Boso, and Yashinsky. I had a friend whose girlfriend was a serial monogamist and I used to tell him, if you die, she'll bring a date to your funeral. 